Hey, what's going on? Luke here. We are here to do my tips and predictions for the 2022 NRL Grand Final. Can't believe it's already the Grand Final. Feels like just yesterday I was doing my tips and predictions for Round 1, even doing my ladder predictions and such. Now, I will say I did actually predict the Eels to actually make the Grand Final. Didn't predict the Penrith Panthers, though, which seems quite strange considering how the season went. Penrith were just so far above everyone else. It wasn't even close. And Paramount at times were getting beat by teams like the Bulldogs. My Bulldogs, I should mention. They're getting absolutely towed up. So it was quite a weird season, especially considering the grand final. Like I said, Penrith just so far above everyone else. And I always thought that maybe like a Melbourne Storm or a Roosters. I think I actually tipped the Roosters to make the grand final as well. So coming into the grand final with the Eels making the grand final with the form that they had shown throughout the year, it was kind of strange to me. But... Here we are. Parramatta Eels up against the Panther Panthers. Now, I think the Panthers are the clear favourite, and I think everybody can agree with that one. Just looking at, you know, previous history, obviously, they won last year, grand final the year before, minor premiership this year. I think they've only lost a handful of times. I will say, though, lost to the Parramatta Eels. So, that is something to keep in mind. Also, something to keep in mind is just the actual occasion. It's one thing for Parramatta to win during the regular season. They've been able to do that for years. Been able to do that for year after year. But when it comes to the finals... Choked a little bit. I don't want to say they're like full-on chokers because there's been some controversial calls and some tough games, but I would say if there was ever a side that was like a bit of a choke come finals time, it was the Parramatta Eels, but not in 2022. The problem is, are they going to choke in the grand final? We're going to find out Sunday. Now, I will say it does feel weird as well as we're doing the predictions so early on. Now, I normally do them on a Wednesday as to why you're seeing this video, but just in terms of, uh, you know, making the video days and days in advance, so many things could happen. Nathan Brown named on the bench. Let's take a look at the actual lineups themselves. So for, for Penrith, they got Dylan Edwards at fullback, career best form. Charlie Staines in for Taylor May, obviously uh, not out, uh, not in the side. Despite all the, you know, the off-put of suspension, Taylor May not there. Karma at its finest. You got Targo, Crichton, Brian Toto, Jerome the Wine, Nathan Cleary, house combination. Leota and Fisher-Harris on the best forward packs or front rows, I should say. In the whole NRL, you've got Coruscant Hooker playing his last game. Quite a few players playing their last game um, for Panthers and the Eels as well. Uh, one of them being uh, Viliami Kikau, another one. Going to the Bulldogs, uh, Liam Munn, Isaiah Yo, Bench of Mish Kenny, Scott Sorensen, Spencer Lenu, and Jamin Semen, Richard Stewart's favourite. Then for Parramatta, we've got Gutherson, Sivo, Penasini, Bailey Simonson in the centres. Now that... That scares me. I, I can't even really recall him playing in the centers, to be honest. Also, you got Wonga Blake named on the wing. I feel like if Opacek doesn't end up playing, this sort of question marks over a hamstring injury. If he doesn't end up playing, I wouldn't be surprised if Wonga Blake, Blake plays in the centers and then Simonson ends up on the wing. That would make way more sense to me, especially Wonga Blake being a former Penrith center. Um, I think it would make a lot more sense. And he struggled under the high ball, too, at times. Simonson probably has as well, but just in terms of chucking him in the centers, it's just like Wonga Blake. He's an out-and-out center. Well, not an out-and-out center, but he's more of a center than a winger. He just plays there because of, you know, they've got other players. Dylan Brown, Mitchell Moses, Haas, Regan Campbell Gillard up against his old club, although it's been quite a few years, but they're still mentioning it, so I will too. Uh, Reid Marnie off to the Bulldogs next year. Junior Polo. We've got Sean Lane, the lane plane, lane train, the giraffe. Isaiah Papaliti off to the Tigers next year. Maybe. Ryan Madison. we got Nathan Brown back into the side. I don't even know when was the last time Nathan Brown played for the Eels, but there you go. Jacob Arthur, Oregon Kafusi, and Nia Kore. Got Bryce Cartwright and Tom Lobachek. I think they're the only ones who are really, you know, a chance of actually coming into the side. For, like, the Panthers, I'm just looking at them. I can't really see anybody who's, like, a proper chance, but I think they're just going to go 1-17. to no real changes, apart from maybe Mitch Kenny or someone coming into the starting side, but I think that's a bad move. Now, going into this game, like I said, Penrith are obviously the favourites, and the favourites for good reason. They've got the experience. They've got the runs on the board. Um, they've got experience in big games, whether it's State of Origin, whether it's uh, you know actual grand finals themselves, whereas Eels don't have any real big game experience. Going through the, the actual squad, I'm just looking. Has anybody played in a grand final? Um... I don't think Junior Polo was there for the Raiders run. Um, Ryan Madison, I think he's the only one. The only one off the top of my head. He's the only one. And that was when he was still like super, super young for the Roosters. So you got a team that has no experience in a big game. Even in terms of big games, like in terms of uh, like prelims and stuff, they don't have much experience. And uh, Panthers just experience all over the board. Like even Charlie Saints comes into the side, barely played all year. Has already played in a grand final though. So I don't know. This side for Penrith... I think it looks a lot better than last year too. A lot more balance. Um, I think in terms of like names, like Capewell, obviously Burton, big losses. But just in terms of how they've been throughout the season, I, I don't think they've missed them at all. And obviously they're in a grand final. And sorry, Parramatta Eels fans, I think they're going to win this one. Um, I think it's pretty pretty popular opinion that uh, that Penrith are going to win this one. 
even out, out to, like, when I tipped that at the start of the year, I tipped the Eels to lose in the grand final. So, something about just, just the Eels in the grand final, I know there's that temptation to be like, oh, Eels are going to upset them. Eels have been the one team that can actually beat Penrith for years now, for, like, literal years. Like, not just this year, but last year as well. Maybe even the year before. They're always a side that troubles Penrith. But I just feel like just... Penrith in the grand final, a whole different gravy. They're going to be okay. They're going to be all right. They're going to be good. I think they're going to be firing. Even if they don't fire, I feel like... Like, I just can't see the Eels coming out and playing this, like, 10 or 11 out of 10 game um, that they need to do to beat Penrith. Because I think Penrith, even, like, not at their best, I think as long as they stay in the contest, like they did for the Rabbitohs game, just, you know, click of the fingers and they're back in the game and they're winning the game. And, you know, they won comfortably in the end. Um... Yeah, that's kind of just what Penrith does. I mean, Eels definitely have the ability to put some points on very, very quickly. They've got a lot of attacking flair on this side. You know, Sevo, Penasini is good. Gutherson supports well. Um, Dylan Brown, if he actually runs, is good. Mitchell Moses. I don't think we've actually seen the best of Mitchell Moses. So I think, honestly, this game, like if Eels are to win this one, Mitchell Moses gets man of the match 100%. Like, I, I don't think there's a way that, you know, you can see a Sean Lane get man of the match. I know last week he did. But in terms of the Eels, if they're going to win this one, I don't think we can see, you know, a Sean Lane or a Junior Polo be their best player. We need Mitchell Moses to step up. We need Gutherson to step up. Because we know that Nathan Cleary is going to step up, for sure. He's going to step up. Coruscant is going to step up. Dylan Edwards has shown in the grand final he can step up. He's in a bloody moon boot last year, and he still stood up and, uh, you know, played a pretty decent game. So we know what the Panthers can offer. It really comes down to what the Eels can offer in a grand final under the pressure. Can they handle it? Personally, I don't think they will. But in terms of, like... It could happen. It really could happen. Like, if Eels came out and won this one, I'd be like, you know what? Fair play. Fair play, Eels. Um, you did well, and, you know, you deserve it. But I think we're going to see a lot of heartbroken uh, Eels fans, and we're going to see a back-to-back for the Penrith Panthers. Now, you're probably coming back after this, and Eels are one by 40 or something, and you're having a laugh, but that's okay. That's what the little tips and predictions are here for. We had to have a laugh. Now, in terms of actually predicting top try, uh, top try scorer, first try scorer, um, you know, the actual score line, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to start off with the actual first try scorer. Just looking at this, I'm actually going to go with a little cheeky Stephen Crichton to score the first try. I think Stephen Crichton will score. Just off the top of my head, I just, just picked one. So Stephen Crichton to get first try scorer. Last try scorer, I'm going to go with a little... Uh, let's go a little William Kikia, um, a little farewell try for him. I feel like this is going to be a game where... It's sort of going to be close, and then Penrith are going to run away with it. Like, it's going to be one of those ones where the game's fairly close, but the actual scoreline probably won't be, and um, they'll win this one fairly comfortably, despite how the game actually played. Um, in terms of, you know, man of the match, I'm going to go with Nathan Cleary. I think if Penrith win, Nathan Cleary is going to get it. Whether he actually is the best player, he's probably going to get the Clive Churchill. I feel like Coruscant is like another cheeky little one. Oh, there's got Kenny there, but I think Coruscant in his farewell game as well, I think he's in for a big one. Um, in terms of like the best play for the Eels, I, like I said, Mitchell Moses, Dylan Brown really need to step up. Uh, you know, I think Junior Paul is in for a big game. I think those big boppers, Campbell Gillard, I think they're going to play really, really well. But I just like their strengths are something that Penrith can handle, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm, I'm not saying a lot of good things about the Eels, and it feels weird going into a grand final and being like Eels kind of eh. But Eels, you know, they've been decent, but they also haven't really played a team the caliber. Of Panthers, and it's not so much the Eels, it's more so like I would probably say this about any other side. Like, Panthers are just they're just a different gravy, like I said, they're just good, they're very, very good, and that's to say the least. They're very, very good at football side. There's a reason that they've won the New South Wales Cup and they won the Jersey flag and that sort of stuff. Just a well run football club, and uh, I think we're going to see them win another premiership. Now, whether that goes on to next year, I don't know. A lot of players leaving, like I mentioned. But I think we're going to see something special here from the Panther side. And they're going to go back to back. But guys, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts of this game? What are your tips and predictions? Do you think Penrith is going to win? Do you think the Ills are going to win? Let me know in the comment section below. As well as like your man of the match and you know all that sort of stuff. Uh, first try scorer. Go ahead and let me know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching. If you happen to enjoy this one, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on that sub box. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, we had it. Go ahead and chat me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook's Mr. Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat and TikTok, it's Mr. Luke and YT. Give me a follow, give me an ad. Become a member of the channel as well. Link is in the description below. Thanks to everybody who is a current member or everybody who's been a past member too. Thank you very much. The guys are going to wrap things up here. Enjoy the game. Another couple of days. You're going to see the grand final. Plenty of content to come from me as well. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. See you.